Hey everybody, so in this video, I'm going to be going over uh, build the Windows 10 that I find pretty interesting here. So this isn't a official Microsoft build. This is called Windows 10 Ghost Scepter. So this is a custom build of Windows 10 made directly for gamers. And let me hang on. Um, I got some business to do with Edge real quick. So the best thing you can do with Microsoft Edge is, where's it at? No, just want to put it into your recycling bin. Then you want to empty the recycle bin, and you want to permanently get rid of Edge. So that's the best thing you can do with that web browser. I think it's really cool. But other than that, this is a build of Windows 10 that is specified for gamers and optimizes it itself for gaming right out of the box. So this version of Windows 10, or this custom version of Windows 10, whatever you want to call it, is based off... It is burst based off 20H2, and it has a lot of features that are coming in, tw in 21H2, which is going to be the whole new UI change for this update. They're starting to roll out little changes with the Windows Insider program, and uh, this is a, a new theme that's going to be coming to the file explorer in that update. So, if I were to say this looks pretty nice, so. This is definitely better than the theme we currently have, which is acrylic. But I do like the acrylic theme sometimes. But I would have definitely preferred this with arrow transparency. That would have been the best theme ever. But this does look like a great theme. So let's go over why you might want this. First off, just like with Windows 10 LTSC, which is my, which is my main OS, this has absolutely no bloatware. You get your Windows accessories, your Windows administrative tools, your ease of access, your PowerShell, and your Windows system. So yeah, like as we can see, we got new icons for this PC. Okay, and let's go over another thing. This takes up a lot less storage than what you would be. So the total size is 465. And it only takes up 16 gigabytes for the whole OS and the programs I want installed. I have OBS, Discord, and Steam installed. I I only have the files, you know, currently. But this is a version of Windows 10 that optimizes itself for gaming. Now let's go over RAM utilization on average. So when it comes to it, it can eat up a lot of RAM. But to be fair. When you first start it up, it is very idle when it comes to RAM usage. It definitely eats up way less than when... What is using my my GPU performance? What's using my graphics card? What is using my graphics card? Huh. Oh, probably because I'm recording video, but... So, this is the new theme you get. So, let's go over how many builds there are of this so if we go over to their website windows 10 go specter so let's see how many things there are so their new build 21h1 just came out so this one is based on 21H1, but this is the build I got, 20H2, because 20H2 is a little more reliable than 20H1. They're both based off 2009, so it's not like 2004 to where it jumps, and it's based off a different build. They're based off the same build, just with different names, and they have different things. So this is what you would get. Ooh. That actually looks... Hmm. So yeah, as I can see right there, that's what you will have idly when you're just idle. It will only use like less than one gigabyte of RAM when you first start it up. And I just find that to be very good. So you get that. So Ghost Spectre is really, or Ghost Scepter. I'm just going to call it Scepter. But like you can get earlier builds. Of, so they started out with 1703. And 1703 is pretty good. I might try one of these older builds. If 
if anyone in the comment says they want me to try 1909, 1709, 1703, let me know because I will make a video because I am curious myself on how these older builds of Ghost Scepter run and how they look and what you can do with them. But I am most interested in 1903. I'm most interested in 1703 because that's a four-year-old build, and I would want I would want to see how that holds up. Like, do you really need to upgrade for feature updates, or the or can you stay with older builds? That is a video I will definitely make with Ghost Scepter because I don't know if you know this, but you cannot find a 1703 ISO for shit these days. You know, like it's hard to find a 1909 ISO. I don't really think you're gonna be able to find an ISO like that. So, you can get it through Mediafire or Google Drive. I recommend Mediafire because their servers automatically adjust to where you're at. And it will automatically install faster. I don't know how. I don't know how to say that. You know, it just goes to your server that's closest to you and installs it. So, so on install, you want to download Superlight. So there's only a couple builds of this. So they're going to be going up. So will it work on a 4 gigabyte RAM PC? That's what it is. It is great for lower end PCs because there's no bloatware, no store. There's no Microsoft store at all. So there's no Microsoft store. But you can download it if you want to. Now, some people may ask me, well, why would you want to do that? If you have Xbox Game Pass and you want to play your Game Pass games, you can. But it's a little bit of a pain to get it downloaded. But I don't really think the average consumer wants the Microsoft Store on their computer. But if you do, you can get it. So let's go over the default media player, which is none other than the beloved Windows media player, which everyone loves. I just can't get over how good this theme is. Like, I actually really do like this new theme that they're going to add in the next big uh, feature update. And that's just 21H2. I am really hyped for that feature update. Because I want to see if Microsoft, because they're going to change the whole new UI. I want to see if this is actually going to, like, be what they do. Like, I want to see if they remove all their bloatware and make it a good experience for people. I doubt they will, but they might hopefully decrease bloatware to a minimum. Let's go over my average temps with this. So with MS Afterburner, with my fan loop, I'm get 34 degrees Celsius on idle. So my temps are the same, exactly the same. So, but it could definitely vary on how you have your drivers installed. So something else I'm going to recommend is do not use GeForce Experience because that is telemetry and blow. What I recommend is, is NV Clean install. So you can have it manually search for your drivers i use this like i don't use use force experience at all on that like i've been using that for months i've been loving that way more than geforce experience because it's literally just telemetry and blowware it's just like windows 10 so when it comes to software support everything runs it runs fine it runs really good i haven't tested any games out on it yet but the reason why it's so many people actually i did test out a game on my laptop i had it in a uh, virtual machine I gave it, okay, I gave it four gigabytes of RAM. And I gave it two cores. And I, it was able to use my 1650. And it, the results are going to be very, very mixed there when it comes to Fortnite on performance mode. But at 1080p, I was getting around 130 FPS at all those days. Now, for my system specs, if I were to have a... Actually, I gave it 6 gigabytes of RAM. If I were to have had my full quad-core processor, my full amount of RAM, I would have easily gotten 200 FPS. But since you were limited to your CPU, and I did have hyper-threading, so it boosted past a little bit of two cores. So, hyper-threading, I was able to get good FPS. Now, you may be asking, what's the difference? The main thing with this OS is the 1% lows. With all the bloatware you get on Windows 10, the thing that makes it kind of bad for gaming is the crappy 1% lows you'll get with Windows 10. That's why I like debloating my OS because you won't have any of this stuff here. You won't have any bloatware. You won't have Cortana. You won't have the Microsoft Store. <laughs> like, let's try enabling Cortana real quick. C-O-R-T-O-N-A. As you can see, there is no Cortana in this at all. 
this is a good build, but it's just not it's not as light as LTSC. And I don't think it will ever be as light as LTSC. I don't want Microsoft Edge. Why did I click on Microsoft Edge? Why? I don't want you Microsoft Edge. Oh my god. I don't I don't want to use Edge. No, uh, stop violating me. And then okay, and this is what I mean when Microsoft says they'll give you a hand job if, if you use Edge for five minutes. I'm clearly clicking close window and they're like, no, please, please try us. The best way to deal with this, task manager, and task, there we go. So yeah, Microsoft Edge is still a clingy ex-girlfriend. But besides from that, you don't have to use it. It's gonna install itself. Now, this OS is very good and the people over at Ghost Scepter, I'm proud of. Because they made a very light and very stable build of Windows 10 for gamers. The 1% lows are very good. And this is very, very good for lower-end computers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.